Hi guys, I'm so happy to see you again. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry I've been absent for a couple of weeks. Um, just was not feeling it. But now the vibe is back and I'm here again and excited to make more vlogs with you. Morning, as you can tell, and I'm a little puffy still after sleep, <laughs> still waking up. There are a few things that were happening behind the scenes um, while I was absent. Well, first thing, uh, the great news about my parents' visa. They finally got it, and they got it for three whole years. So they'll be able to travel back and forth between Russia and America uh, for three years, which is very exciting. Because, you know, if things happen in here and um, they would like to travel, the access is there. It's open. It did take a long time for us to get together all the paperwork from my side as a sponsor and from their side as the proving that they will come back to Russia so they won't stay here illegally. They did get it and that's exciting. They're coming here in mid-May um, from the 16th to the 30th. We're already getting all the plans together. We have a calendar with every day marked to do something. <laughs> So, are they going to be busy here? <laughs> they haven't traveled around the world at all. I'm excited to show it off to them, especially some spots that we found that are awesome. So, we'll be traveling along the East Coast, uh, me and my parents uh, mostly. Well, Daryl will join us on some days too, because he has to work. And like to DC and Virginia and New York and whatnot, maybe something else. I cannot wait for them <laughs> to come here and um, show off you know some things so i hope they will like it they've never been here also i wanted to know how are you how have you been doing was it in, is there anything interesting in your life that you would love to uh tell me about and I, I would love to read it in comments i'm sorry i don't respond every time but i promise you i read absolutely every comment the summer is going to be 10 years since i have moved to america um that's that's very exciting it's also going to be five years to my channel uh gentle whispering channel so that's a big date too so like big things <laughs> big anniversaries this year i also worked on a couple of projects that um are not really on my channel but have to do with asmr and i'm i'm very excited about them i'm hoping they will work out they might not but i'm hoping that they that i will participate in them um, at, at the end. Now I'll talk about them more. Today because it's rainy and it's kind of boring I wanted to do something uh, interesting and that is jewelry making. I have never made any type of jewelry myself and I always wanted to because most of the time I search for pieces of jewelry that do not exist and uh, or at least not in a way that I would love to see them so I thought I'll, I'll try and start with very beginning very small steps so um, obviously I'm not going to do like silver work or gemstone work probably never but definitely not right now <laughs> but I would love to try and do like beading and um, just do my own bracelets or my own earrings something cutesy like that uh, something to keep me um, interested just something to do with my fingers and my hands so we're going to Michael's right now to pick some things up and hopefully make some cute things later so let's uh, let's take it out <laughs> Okay, and we are in Michael's. Let's go check it out. Jewelry. So, let's start checking it all out. Crystals. Well, you see, these are, um, I know that they're handmade crystals, so they like, they weren't really grown in the nature. I guess it's still okay. That's really what you feel the crystal carries more. I actually find one thing that I wanted. I wanted to have one of those bracelets that opens up and they don't have that. That's the one I would want. Bengal twist on silver. I'll have to order that online, damn it. Boy, I've been to two Michaels already and none of them have it. That's crazy. Yeah, these are too much. I want more neutral one looking ones. 
More like silverish, kind of like that. It has M word in it, so that's nice. This one would actually work, I think, the best. I like elephants and lotus flowers. It's kind of my thing. Oh, yes. I was actually looking for something like this, where it's a twist off as well. And you can just hang um, the necklace off of it directly. So you just untwist these little bits. That's pretty cool, actually. I'll take this one too. So. These are some of the things that I got from the Michael store. I'm going to be making two bracelets. One of the bracelets is going to be very zen oriented uh, with different lotus flowers and the uh, eye and um, like the things against the jinxing and like the elephant more lotus flower and um, M for Maria. And then the spaces I'm going to fill in with these two, one of them or maybe a combination of them. And then the second bracelet is going to be more of a dangly kind of bangle kind of um, bracelet. And it's going to have a lot of different hanging pieces to it. So I got some clear ones and pearl ones and um, silver and black ones. I also got um, <clears throat> a mixture of these, smaller and larger, just loose um, silver balls like this. You can see that they all can be removed and hung by themselves. So I would add some of these onto the actual bracelet. I'm actually very excited about it. Then the bracelets that I got are not actually the ones that I want, but I will uh, create these bracelets on these ones and then I'm going to purchase uh, different bracelets the more sturdy ones online sturdy ones I mean because this is on a magnet like this so it's very easy to open it up so if I like touch something it'll just open up so um, these were hmm, two and a half dollars I believe and they were on sale so I got them quite cheaply so for now I'll wear these and then I'm going to order online um, different ones because they just didn't have them in stock. Um, but this is kind of the principle. Then they also had these cute little tools that I will need. I actually probably can use these in a household as well. Um, it's like a wire cutter. Then the pincher, the one that opens up the little rings. I believe that's what it is. And the pliers to bend things and stuff like that. And I got some closures and um, assorted rings. So let's see how this works out. Okay, so I found uh, this necklace that I had with three crystals. And I think I'm going to use it. What I need to do is I need to unhook these from the necklace. Because I don't really like the necklace because there's three of them like that. Just not my type. I prefer, I guess, single ones or something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some really hard work here. Trying to open these up. Of course, it doesn't want to focus here. I'm taking this larger one. Opening it up. Taking my crystal. Putting it right on it. Now we're going to bend it back. Here you go. I'm going to just <laughs> the metal gets stuck to the magnet. Voila! One of my crystals is already on it. Cool. So 
here's the first bracelet. Again, I've included my um, crystals in it. You can see a bunch of different things here. But you get the idea. I really like it. <laughs> Especially I like that I made it myself. So that's a very cool feeling to make jewelry yourself and wear it. Okay, so now let's do the second one. Okay, so I'll take it, unbend it, remove the rest. This one. Keep it open. Okay, so three hours later, I'm done with both bracelets. Too much work, I gotta say. Just too much. And uh, I don't even like the second one, it's just way too bulky, too much of everything. I might use it sometime in an ASMR video, maybe I do a jewelry video, but right now I'm not even going to ever wear it. But I was determined to finish it. I do like my other one. Mm. Uh, the charmed one. With uh, my Zen bracelet, as I called it. <laughs> I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna go relax because I'm super tired from this and I have cut myself a bunch of different times and stabbed myself a million times and my fingers are just so sore <laughs> from continuously having have to deal with the tools um, for every every little thing on it has been bent, opened, taken off, put back on, twisted back on every damn piece. That's some labor, labor and intensive work here and I don't even like it but that's okay again it's been an experience and I'm excited that I got to try it okay all right I hope you enjoyed this see you soon again